Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Well today we have another review and I have two pre-stamped cross stitches. I did start to open this and I realized I don't know the exact name of this company. So this is somebody I've never done a review for. It's from Outdoor OutdoorTide.com So let's take a look. I'm still a little confused. So first one we have is from DIY Cross Stitch as you can see and it is called Peony. It is a 70 by 40. Isn't that pretty? It's just beautiful. It's not very wide this way so that's a good thing. Let's see if we can take this out of here. Well, and I had it written down, you know, the name written down wrong. And I'm like, that doesn't sound right. So that's why I stopped. So that's why it's out of the bag. What can I say? Oh, yeah. We're having a week. I'm telling you. Having a week. So, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at those beautiful peonies. Just absolutely beautiful. These kind of look like roses, but I know how peonies look when they're kind of closed up so yeah let's take a look at the paper it's buried hang on it's a buried it's a folded we're gonna get that out of there right now hang on of course it's way down here so take a look at the paper it goes this way has the product number now the product the 1174 it was on the front sometimes it is sometimes it's not but the 1174 matches this paper pattern and it'll also be on the on the canvas as well it's a 70 by 40 it's 259 by 129 and it has 30 colors this would definitely have to be blown up but yeah it does have a nice big key but I could see this but you know magnifying glass would really help because this one's a tiny one it should have been one of those big full page things yeah and this whole paper pattern does match your your canvas let's look at the colors here aren't they pretty Hang on. we're gonna have to do a shake shake there's no excess thread so everything's on here like I said, it's not too wide, but look at the purples and the the pink. It's like a darker salmon and orange. And you got some shell pink over here. And then you got some lighter colors. But look at those. Mm, it's fuchsias and pinks. And more shell pink. And a little bit darker than this one over here. Just beautiful. Looks like a little 939 going on there. And 3865, if I'm not correct. Where is it? 3865, a little bit of uh, 939, a little bit of 310. So that's your 310 right here. And no 823s. And it does have some 3371, which is this dark brown. So yeah, lots of beautiful colors. And it is full coverage, I'm, I'm thinking. I'll have to look here, but by the looks of it, I don't, I think they've mixed these lighter colors together for the background. So we'll take a look and see it's not very wide. Not very wide at all. Oh, nice, big. Yeah, this isn't, I don't know that that's by 70, but okay. Nice big key. Does have two needles right down here does have product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square, matching the paper pattern. And all these symbols match that. does have the color going down, you know, the color of the threads going down the side. Big, huge. It must be over a quarter of an inch wide. So very easy to see. It is an 11 count. I don't know if I told you that or not. But, because uh, I tend to repeat myself sometimes. I'm sorry. It's 71 centimeters that way, which is 28 inches. 
and this way it is trying it's 39 so not as big but it does have nice wide margins the actual picture size is 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 uh, 60 about 60 and a half which is 23 and three quarters about poster size by 29 centimeters or 11 and a half so it's not too wide this way but it is uh, I want to say it's confettied a little bit in spots but there's big big areas here you know of things and then the splattering of the confetti so th that's not too bad but with 30 colors you know you'll have pretty good shading it's a nice heavy canvas and this one was 1188 so not too bad I thought it would be bigger longer but it's not but very nice and very nicely printed very easy to see uh, symbols yeah I like that it's going to be beautiful it's gonna have to have its own bag what can I say wait till the next one okay the next one is a 90 by 30 which is about the same size as that beautiful flowers I think but yeah isn't that gorgeous I'm gonna take it out of the bag hang on sprinkling Whoa. Whoa. We're stuck. All right. Let's flip it over here. See, it that other one should have had this big piece of paper. And it's a full coverage, too. But isn't that gorgeous? Look at those butterflies and all the flowers. Yeah, but it's like 90% of that background. Yeah, they're just kind of sparsely put there. It does have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Let's see if I can get this puppy unfolded. But nice, big, huge pattern. It looks a little bit confettied, you know, from what I can see on this. It's kind of hard to tell. It does have 35 colors. But yeah, 90% of it is that background. And number 32 is 3820. But this pattern will match the canvas. Yeah, it'll be a hot moment for that background. What was I thinking? Oh my god. Yeah, I guess I could go along and do all the the everything else, you know. It has a little bit of 310, some 666, no 823s, no 939. No, 3371, and it has 3862 as it's white. So, yeah. Let's take a look at the colors. Look at that yellow. That's for the background. Isn't that a beautiful gold? Just gorgeous. Whoops. Get rid of that. I'm glad it was all in a bag. There's two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one skeins of the background color alone yeah and then there's the rest like I said there's not too much stitching but it's gonna be confettied I'm thinking let me shake it out here there's no other extra skeins well trying to get a hold of it there we go isn't that pretty look at all the purples and reds and oranges and yellows every shade in the book and you've got tans and brown and goldy tans and then you got some pinks and some dark blues and there's the one 32 that you got 32 skeins boy they put that right there didn't it 
beautiful, beautiful colors. Look at the greens. So there's not too much of floral or anything. You got a little bit of green, you know, scattered about. But, yeah. I just like the butterflies. I thought they were cool. And there's a ton of butterflies and little pink and red flowers. Just beautiful. I didn't even think about the background. I usually don't. There's no sticker on here that matches everything. All right. We are going to fold this up and lay it right here. Keep that all safe because that's a lot. Let's look at the canvas. Like I said, it's not very big. It's long and skinny. So. And it is stiff. Very stiff. Let me put it back here. It is surged all the way around. And it does have the DMC number, the symbols, and the number on the thread card. And the stitching did not get into the DMC symbols. But that's very easy to read. And so are all the symbols. But every one of these things is confettied. So, I don't know how I'd attack this. I mean, there's not too much stitching of things to do. Like I said, 90% of it is that background. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I guess I would just start with one color and try to work through it. and Whatever. Let me see if I can measure this. I'm not real sure I can, but we're going with it. <coughs> but I like it's long and skinny because it's not very wide at all. I'll show you the top here in a minute. It is 89 centimeters. That's an approximation because there's lumps and bumps. By 28 centimeters, which is about 11 and a quarter. The actual picture is approximately 82 and a half, which is 32, give or take a 32 inches, that is. So it's about three feet long by 22 and a half, which is, oh, well, we'll call it nine inches. So nine by, God, Lord, nine by 30, um, nine by 32, 32 and a half. Yeah, 32 seems to be the number. So yeah, eh, it'll take a hot moment. So I'm not real sure how I would attack this at all because as you can see, and I'm just going to fold this over this way. <coughs> it does have the product number up here, how many, big it is and how many squares per square. But yeah, you can see it's pretty much confetti, confetti. And I like that it surged. You know, there was no needle in this. None. Well, that's irritating as hell. You can give me 32 skeins of the other thing, but there's absolutely no needles. That is so weird. And it's not like it's laying here, you know, in a bag, nothing. It's not like I don't have needles, but... Just saying, if I was a newbie, and I would be pretty upset that I didn't have a needle. I'd have to go get one. But, yeah. Yep, yeah, nice, big, really clear, you know, easy to read symbols. That's what I love about 11 count. It's just so much easier for my poor old eyes. And that is all that I got from them. Um, that was 1305 for that one. It didn't even come with a needle. How irritating. Maybe I knocked it off when I was unfolding it or something. I don't know, but that's awfully odd that they didn't have a needle. Now, outdoor, outdoor tide. It's hard. I keep wanting to say tide outdoors. Jeez. Outdoor tide has cross stitch, diamond painting, and paint by number. They have tools and craft for both. They also do beaded embroidery. They have garden decor and jigsaw puzzles. And they have a special, you can get 
they have a special section where you can get two kits for $9.99. And right now they have a special of buy five, get one free. And they do have free shipping over $59. So do check them out. Thank you, Outdoor Tide, for sending me these beautiful kits. They're just absolutely lovely and can't wait to start them. <sighs> yeah, I know. It, the beauty just keeps coming to my doorstep, and I'm like, oh, sparkly squirrel, I've got to start that. Yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at because now I have 10,000 projects started. Yeah, that couldn't wait to start. So... Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.